Triggers fam, we are back, man. We are back. And as I posted a couple weeks ago on the community tab wall that I am, not I am, but I have a collaboration with a fragrance company called Zoa Aroma. We're gonna be talking about a fragrance, one of their fragrances. They sent me three fragrances, guys. And this one is called Margellus. This one is called Margellus. And I'm getting this review up on the channel because in a couple of days, I'm gonna be giving this one away to a coworker. And as y'all can see, I made a nice dinner in it, so. We're gonna talk about this fragrance, give y'all my thoughts on it. Stay tuned. That's right, guys. Come back in, man. Come on in, man. Holla at your boy. That's right. Today we talking Margellus from the house of Zoa Aroma. This one was sent to me for free. They sent me three bottles, guys. The other two would definitely be for spring and summer. This one is going to be your spring and fall. Maybe push it in the winter style kind of fragrance. Like I said, I am giving this bottle away in a couple days. I ran this through the gauntlet. I wore it at work. Uh, not the season that you will wear it in, but I wanted to test it out. And like I said, I did make a nice dent in it. So, um, like I said, this was a collaboration. So, shout out to everybody, man. New subscribers, return subscribers. You guys are definitely helping the channel grow. So, just a little backstory on Zoa Aromas. They are based in Toronto, Canada. Um, they do ship worldwide, guys. Um, the prices are on the website and are listed in Canadian dollars, CAD, not USD. Um, also, their perfume oils range from 10 to 19, that's Canada money, sizes 3ml, 6ml, and 12ml. And the Oda Perfumes comes in two sizes, 15ml, that's 20 CAD, and 55ml at 60 CAD. It was nice enough to send me a little old breakdown, man, to read to you guys. And um, they thanked me and everything, man. So. Um, shouts out to them, man. Hopefully, uh, we can do some more collaborating in the near future. So, like I said, guys, this is the first of three. Um, and I possibly will be giving all three bottles away, starting with this one first. So, Margellus, this is supposed to be their original creation, guys. Uh, this is the... I'm trying to see what ML is this. This got to be... This has to be the 55 ML for sure. 55 ML. To send me a 55 ml for free, man. I'm, 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 man. I'm very appreciative, man, for real. But this is their original creation. They do make clones or inspiration to fragrances. And your fragrance, if you order from them, your fragrance will come in a bag. So this fragrance did come in this little pouch, which is cool. Uh, Margellus, guys, it is a house blend. They have all the information down here for me. The main notes include vanilla, chocolate, honey, tonka bean, spices, amber, coffee, can be. Cambodian and Indian oud with this one guys and I'm gonna tell y'all right now I did test this one out on skin and clothes when you smell this this is going to remind you of like a softer version a softer version of a mere owl oud intense guys from the house of Latafa I'm going to tell y'all and what that fragrance is cloning is by the fireplace from Mason Margella this is kind of similar, not as smoky though, um, by the by the fireplace. A lot much more sweeter, being as though this has the Tonka bean in it. And the call, I believe they said coffee in this one too. Coffee in this one too, chocolate and honey. So this will be like a sweeter version of by the fireplace, but this is definitely so similar to a mirror out Uda intense from the house of Latafa. Just to paint y'all a picture of what this smells like. I'm going to get this on a strip for y'all. Oh, I got the strips down here already. So first blast of this guys, and I'm not going to lie. Ooh, sorry about that. Excellent atomizers. And yes, when you first smell this, you're gonna immediately get hit with like vanilla in this Tonka bean mixture. Now coffee is definitely in this one and it's giving off like this milky kind of smooth vibe. The chocolate in this one or cacao, the chocolate in this one is in the background. Now it's no incense in this one. And I get a slight spice, but this is definitely sweet. A slight spice, really nice mixture. I'm not picking up on the honey yet. 
But yeah, that's what this one is reminding me of. Amir Al Uda Intense by Latafa. Just less on the smoky, more sweet side kind of things. But this is, this is a serviceable fragrance. I'm not gonna lie. So if you are a fan of, you know, those type of notes, coffee, vanilla, tonka bean, you know what I'm saying? Also it said it's oud in this one, but I'm not really picking up the oud like that. If it is in here, it is definitely playing in the background. This is definitely dominated by tonka bean, vanilla, and amber for sure. But this is nice. This is definitely gonna be for spring and fall. I wish that I could rock this in the summer, but I wouldn't do it. I definitely wouldn't do it, not outside. Got some heavy notes in this one. You, uh, This is not an office scent. To me, this is much more of a social outing kind of vibe. When you talk about Tonka Bean and vanilla and stuff like that, that sweetness, you talking about huge compliment getting kind of fragrance for sure. So spraying it fall with this one, if you want to push it into the winter, maybe early winter, when it's like maybe 40, 45 degrees outside, cool. That'd be cool with this one. This, yeah, social setting, this definitely can be used on a date night. To me, this is a nighttime fragrance. It has a, some definitely sexy alluringness to it. But when you smell this, you're going to be like, yo, I, I smell things similar to this on the market, but it doesn't make it a bad fragrance. This is definitely good. And for them to send this one to me for free, man, I'm, I'm highly appreciated. So, Zoe Aroma, Margellus, let me know if y'all have tried this one. I did see this fragrance pop up on my man, House of Colossus channel. Also, check out his channel if y'all get time. Nice fragrance. I actually like, I actually love to keep smelling this joint, man. But, like I said, that fragrance is going to my boy, Logan, at work. I am passing this one off to him. Just wanted to get this information up on the channel. Also, guys... They do list the notes on the bottle too. So, you know, like I said, cacao, tonka bean, honey, amber, agar, wood, coffee, vanilla, stuff like that. So it's a sweet fragrance and it remains sweet all the way through. I don't really pick up on the ooh like that. I don't really pick up on the honey. Uh, so that's my take on it, guys. And the performance on that one actually is pretty, pretty decent. I would say you're going to get about six to seven hours on skin and clothes and projection was definitely good over an hour it did radiate past the arm lift over an hour hour and a half starts to dial back its fragrance is still there but it dials back after an hour and a half and but for the price point and what you're going to get on it i definitely think it's worth a pickup so check out their website zoaroma like i said they're based out of canada um shouts out to the co-founder sammy and the five zoa um they definitely broke everything down to me, man. And shouts out for them for checking out the channel. Wanted to collab with your boy. So guys, thanks for watching another video from The Fragrance Show. If you need more content, click on that video header up on the screen. If you want to like and subscribe to the channel, you're going to do that as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Salute.